Hi you guys, today we're going to be making a teeny tiny tunnel book. So here's my tunnel book. I'm going to show you what it does. I've written a little short story here about pirate treasure being found in an old, uh, an old photo album. And there's a picture of a little treasure map. And this part of the book pops up. And right here is the part that is a tunnel. This is a little zigzag accordion, and when you pull it out this way, you've got an illustration for the story. It has a little tunnel right there. And so there's multiple layers. I'm gonna show you how I made this in this video. The really cool thing about this little book is that it's only made out of one piece of paper and this is just a piece of copy paper that I used but if I totally unfold it you can see this is just one piece of paper. Start by folding your paper in half long ways then open it fold it in half the other way. Open it back up flip it over now we're going to fold each edge and line it up with that middle crease do the same thing on both sides. When you make a fold, it's either like a valley or like a mountain. If you look at this from the side, you want your folds to look like valley, mountain, valley. Now that very first fold we made down the middle is a little hard to see, so I'm gonna outline it with a pencil just so it's visible. You're going to cut along that line through three quarters of the paper. You don't wanna cut all the way across the paper, just through three of those sections like that. Flip yours around if you need to so that the open side of the paper is on the left and you've got your valley mountain valley. Now we're going to close this top accordion and we're going to start drawing the little windows that will create our tunnel. I'm just using a, an oval but you can really use any shape and it's easiest if you do the front one first, cut it out, and then when you see through that first window, you can draw the second window a little bit smaller. I'm gonna use the same kind of a shape and then cut that one out. Now I can look through two layers of the tunnel and make that third little window and cut that one out as well. And like I said, you could really do any shape. An oval is a nice, easy shape to start with. And you can always go back later and make the shape of the window a little bit different. So there you can see how it's going to be. There's how you stand it up so that you've got a little tunnel that you're looking through. Now, the way this folds up is you collapse this accordion tunnel, fold it down, and then the other bottom accordion will fold up and that's where like the story can go. I use some of the scraps from cutting out the windows to create extra things to add on to my tunnel picture, like these fish. I'm just coloring them in, cutting them out, and deciding I could paste them in different places depending on what I wanna do later. Here I'm putting something at the end of my tunnel, which in this case is a treasure chest, like a pirate's treasure, and coloring it in. That's what you're gonna see through the tunnel. Of course, I wanna open it up and add more to that background so that it's more of a full picture. So that no matter what angle you look through that tunnel, you're gonna see something really cool in the very back. I'm closing this back down so I'm on the front layer now and adding little things like I'm adding this piece of seaweed that's going to sort of go across the first window a little bit, just replacing it there and gluing it a little bit. I probably should have colored this background before I did that, but I didn't, so now there it is. And so you can do this kind of thing if there's something that's hard to cut out as a window. You could just cut an extra piece and layer it and then glue it on later. Um, here I'm making the window a little bit bigger by just carving away, uh, trimming away some with the scissors. And just go layer by layer, opening and shutting the book to kind of test out how it looks. Add characters, add different pieces of the scenery, and just sort of test it out as you go. I did decide as I was working on this that I wished I had made the tunnel openings a little tiny bit bigger, but you do want to make sure that the first tunnel opening is the biggest and the last one is the smallest. I just made some extra little trims to make it shaped a little more like the edge of the fish or the edge of the seaweed. And I did use a little bit of extra paper. I just used an extra sheet to make a couple pieces of coral and seaweed. 
Um, so I guess in total I used two pieces of paper on this book, but just barely. So here I can test out how my tunnel is going to look with its different layers. I add a title to the front and some decoration with that. And then really you can choose if you want the front pages to have story or more pictures in them or whatever. And I kind of did a little bit of both. Here once again is my finished product with the story and some pictures and um, the pop-up portion of the tunnel book. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you will get really creative on, on your teeny tiny tunnel book. Make it however you want it to be. You don't have to do an underwater theme like I did. Make something great and have a great time doing it.